Hello and welcome on, I'm Doom Knight and today I play for Hitman. So from what I can tell we're on the second to last level of the entire trilogy now. So uh, yeah, I've got a bad feeling about what's coming up because in the last cinematic Diana's like she used the one weakness to 47. So yeah, old habits. Ah, oh, it's like the classic suit. I found something. Oh, she's still here then. Which said she'd be out. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No. You won't. <laughs> I don't know, this feels like a... Tr a yeah. Rendezvous with Diana ascertain her allegiance this was like a trap she knows that 47 is going to go for her like she said the one weakness and so it's luring him into something it seems like i don't trust this one bit starting location vin winery viewpoint i can't change my disguise so i have to go in this suit and not turtleneck uh fish and what was that explosive thing I got in the last level? This thing I think it was, maybe? No. It was like bluish. This thing. Micro taser. <laughs> okay. Uh lockpick. And hanger. Cool, okay. Let's uh see where this goes. Hello, Diana. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be wrong. Careful, 47. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Really? You got this during the cutscene game? Come on, you could tell me that I've lost connection after the cutscene. Don Yates. <laughs> that weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Mm. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. 
Good luck, 47. I don't like it. <laughs> Do not eliminate Diana. <laughs> no kidding, game. I, I don't like this, though. It feels like she's using me. And I'm going to be trapped at the end of this. But I'll go along with it for now, because obviously I have to. <laughs> because, you know, the game. But, yeah. I'm just making it known right now that I suspect this is a trap. Okay, hubo, pues. Three, two, one. And... Must be over the moon about down. Right, so how, who do I hand my invitation to? This guy, I suspect. Of course, here you go. Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Oh, thank you. Yeah, hey, bro. Um, hi. <laughs> I thought he was going to frisk me for a second. I was like, um, uh oh. Uh, nah, I'm good. Not many people dancing in the big dance floor, just saying. Right, okay. So not run, just so that we're not running around uh, for long aimlessly. Only three story missions again. Interesting. Over the top, eyes on the target, the tour. Hmm. What's this one? Further in. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I Corvo, got a message from the boss. Oh. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, I have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes me sentimental. A private tour mm. of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates' own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Man, we are hearing 47 come up with the plans. Uh, yeah, sure, let's follow this scene as though we're, uh, <laughs> we just noticed it. <laughs> right, I've got to disguise myself as him, which is annoying because he's a noticer. Stand a 50 50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this? It's a nice gesture. He's suddenly gone silent. But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Okay. So who's this fool guy? Just never framed an urban legend before. But Very post truth. Yeah. I like it. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line right. of contact. You should go somewhere I that's isolated here, buddy. So how do you feel about Burn? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. Cassidy. Probably Rockhead. Man, everyone here just knows <laughs> Burnwood. Hmm. Okay, I think I see what you want me to do. I don't have coins. Right. Safety save time, because always safety save. There we go, sleep.
Now, assuming nobody ever comes into the uh, lavender bushes here, we should be good. Okay, <laughs> took to reception. That was quite easy. <laughs> I expected him to be quite the uh, difficult person to get isolated, but apparently not. Sorry for walking on that, the uh, barbecue, whatever it was you had going on there. Uh, of course, where am I? <laughs> I think the stairs went up across the other way. What are we supposed to tell you? I'm like, oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> but I got completely turned around there. I had no idea where I was. Here we go. <laughs> These are the stairs that I came up. So I think reception was just around. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Hello, sir. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right, Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. <laughs> Join the other guests. It's the damnedest thing to be sure. Right, how do I get down? God, I've been dying to ask you what you're doing to get your skin so glossy. Oh, hello, stairs. Oh, here we go. I like how they just openly talk about all the things that Diana's done. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, Kay. but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Ooh. Intuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Infiltrate the grape fields. Is this illegal? <laughs> this is an illegal action. Where you're wording it like infiltrate. Oh, yep. Yeah. Thankfully, everyone seems a little too preoccupied what they're doing. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates, socialize friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided to drop his wife for the Bring me the three Malbec grapes, he takes from one. If Yeats doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Um, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Do you think they're talking about this? I really overestimate how expensive people like that are in anyone but them. Okay, I mean, surely if I just leave this guy to do his thing, this will just be done, right? Oh, I've got to sky myself as the winery worker, okay. Uh, okay. Should be able to... Uh-oh. Guards. Uh... Wait a minute, is this going to kill this guy? Okay, I thought this was like a shredder or something. I was going to kill him. Okay. Uh, acquire a great picking knife. It has to be a, a particular knife, yeah? <laughs> what any knife do? I mean, I don't know anything about picking grapes, but... Oh... That was close. Oh, oh. Excuse me. 
Okay, harvest three ripe Malbec grape vines. Sure. <laughs> I am a I know grape person. So how will I know which is a ripe one? Maybe they'll have different colour grapes, I guess. Uh, ripe grapes? Hello? Mm, not shears. Grapes. 47 needs grapes. Yeah, I thought you said it was harvest season. Where's all the harvestable grapes? Were they on the other side of the field? Am I on the complete wrong side? Getting a feeling that I might be. Yeah, I think I <laughs> am on the complete wrong side of the field, maybe. Uh... Who's Whistling? Stop that! <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, right on this side. God oh, damn it. <laughs> Right, there are notices there, that's annoying. Oh, this one. <laughs> what if Diana can just see me in the field doing this? It's like, man, the weird things that I get him to do. <laughs> Deliver grapes to the chief winemaker. Sure thing, but only rec recognise that I'm not the guy. Oh. Uh, that is one blind guard. <laughs> I literally ran right past him. Hey, dude. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. There you go. Now, let's see. Lonely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. It's brown. Excellent. Finally, taste. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Right, <laughs> time to get my disguise back. Uh... Okay. <laughs> now I just gotta make sure that the tour guy doesn't go like, huh, you look an awful lot like the guy who gave me the grapes. Ah, my fellow wine lover. Yo. Hello. Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas. Chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. Man. These are busy This lady. Eyes. In fact, we're just about to harvest Where's this that? year's crop. Great expectations. So how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. Well. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, 
which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. <laughs> It's like use the crusher, 47. Kill her with the crusher. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on the business. <laughs> Next one on tour is the fermentation atrium. The wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. She does not seem so interested. We squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer and secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Sure, let's ask some questions. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add, Grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the two of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome, fine. Um. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Okay, I know what you want me to do here, game. <laughs> I'm gonna save it, though. So, hold on a second, sir. Do you recognize him at all? I certainly don't. Don't play Yeah, that's what I thought. It wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. This is what the little guy feels like. There we go. <laughs> no, all good. Looks like one for the man. Any further questions? Ask away. Oh. Urgent call. Oh. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. <laughs> Did you not hear that? Let's continue to the barrel room. <laughs> Man, they really don't care that it just happens, do they? <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, we'll continue for the tour. <laughs> so, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might hey. say we run in the same yeah. circles. No and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Uh, <laughs> really, nobody cares that crush went off and she got squished. <laughs> Even though so they're right next to her. Final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood. Hello. Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little 
Herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald. Once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Mm -hmm. Right, well, I'm following you then. <laughs> right, but then I saved to save because, uh, yeah, the save I had was just before the crushing. Flowers, Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What did aliens land on the front wall? Have the ghosts of Jesus? John Lennon and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. Damn. Meeting in the root cellar. And judging from Yates's choice of wine, some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence? A calculated risk. Mm. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Wow. Way to shame anyone who's not, like, good at history. What dick. You actually get this wrong, because I don't fit it isn't what I think it is. And I'm like, oh, oops. Uh, oh. I thought the passcode was for this. Okay, how do I get in there? This way? No. Hmm. Did you say how to get in there and I wasn't paying attention? Is it like a side door? Oh wait, I've got just look at the map. Uh nope, it doesn't look like there's any other way to get into there. As far as I can tell. Hmm. Maybe I gotta lure them out somehow. Oh, there is a vent actually, hang on. Uh here we go. Sneaky. Damn. Uh would a game be kind enough and give me a screwdriver? I can uh, use my phone hack on it. Come on, anyone leaving their, their supplies behind? Oh, hi, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, it's got to be a screwdriver around somewhere. If not up here, then definitely down on the uh, the other floor, I imagine. 
yeah okay let's go check back out there if we get a screwdriver i think that's our ticket in Oh, good. Jesus Christ, I almost ran right into you, sir. It's, no one's still, like, not concerned about what happened there. No. <laughs> so sodas. Take those. Why is it whenever there's that one tool you need, you can never find the damn thing? Oh, that's... Yeah, it's a hobby knife. Dang it. Surely that can do the same job. Few so, huh? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Never know. Uh, oh. There you go. Screwdriver. There you go. Surely that thing should be leaking. With that screwdriver stuck in it. Right, hopefully they've not uh, moved on. Hopefully they're still in the room and I've not missed my opportunity. I imagine they'll probably give you like a decent amount of time to try and get in here because it is a sneaky entrance. There you go. I think there, there's that gimmick, the um, bypass thing you can bring out with you, and you can just get through these things. But if it just means you've got to find a screw shove in it, it's whatever. Uh, okay, save, because I don't know what turning off this thing's going to do. Ah, uh, turn the lights out. Now, I can't store these guys anywhere, can I? Not really. I can, like, hide them behind here, I guess. Uh, he's kind of hidden, but... There you go, that's better. Right, uh, keypad. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, it's literally named the 1945 Grand Paladin as well, so. Uh, is this security guarded? Or, like, you know, got alarm around it? I did turn off the fuse, but. Okay, no, it's good. Uh, turn on frosted glass. Ah, oh, I could have just done that and took these people out. Oh, actually, oh, damn it. I was going to say, I should, I should turn it on. That way, they, they are properly hidden then. Hey, right, hello. Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir. There you go. I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Yeah. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Hmm, so if he's in this room filled with all the heralds, how am I going to assassinate him? Also, those are some very baggy uh, trousers you got on there, sir. I don't know if that's 
meant to be to look, or if there's stuff. We're still on alert from all those big shots CEOs getting off. Ah, get padded down, you say? Uh, ah, uh, drop. If you want to come through, yep, I'm going to pat you down. Hey, yo, there's no need to flex. You <laughs> got to impress me. Oh, I don't know. You know, might be interested. Okay, man. Vamos. No, not interested. Nah. Jerk. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Except for when I mess up. If you play it on the hardest difficulty stuff, I don't think you can make mistakes like I have in the past. So technically, canonically, he is very discreet. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I've always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Uh ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. <laughs> this is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. Thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Like I know he's looking at me. Hundred bottles were ever produced, and when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors, and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, because he knows That's how good she is. You, my friends. Does that sound like loyalty? The fact that she was able to take them all down Perhaps proves how good she is. He recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what You're lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I agree. Yes. Uh oh. Yes. I'm in. Yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. Oh. That really necessary? Jeez. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. 
This will not go your way. Damn, like, you know, like, arrest her, yeah. Wallop her over the face with a damn, like, baton. Jesus. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Oh. Revenge for her changing right, sides. Oh, this God. Um. What you will all attest to. Remember, Flowers, you never saw a thing. Not a damn thing. God, I've only got like less than 10 minutes to save Diana. Uh. Coming with me, sir. I'm coming, Diana, don't worry. Oh, um. Okay, so she's just up here. Right, okay. I need to find the way up, that's sneaky. Or. There's one outside, good. Right, uh, fish. Okay. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. Oh, I should probably, uh... His thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and move in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Okay, the guy up there should be fine. This guy, however, needs to come in and be put in a locker. Oh crap, okay, he's in his way. Okay. Uh. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. She got a knife B is a go. in her hand. I think she has. Remote. Staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. <laughs> oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you are right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Oh, shit. oh crap. What are you doing, you asshole? Don't just stand there. Shoot her. Okay, calm down. Oh, you still up.
Okay, Diana, Jesus. It's a good thing these guys are slow to shoot, Jesus. Okay, well, I can't hide everyone, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, yeah, you just have to kind of stay there, I guess. Uh, disguise yourself appropriately. Uh, my disguise was back outside, I think. <laughs> Is there a, a fresh change of clothes I could wear, perhaps? Maybe in this room over here? Oh, well, oh, okay, that wasn't what I meant to do. Ah, here we go. Why is my signature outfit and clothes in this random room? Oh, of course, yeah, because they're going to just make me look like I killed him, okay. Uh, okay, so Dinah's already made her way down there somehow. Okay, uh, this could be tricky. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those. Right, okay. Keep going, just keep going. There weren't guards that noticed you. There you go, I'm not trespassing anymore, so it's good. Oh, this is ominous, that this is the exit. Hi, Diana. Is this where you trapped me? Oh, God. Here it comes, isn't it? This is going to be the trap. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. Oh, I don't like it. I, I still don't trust her, but she still seems very suspect. One star. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, tranquilizer. Finally, the tranquilizer gun. Man, we got it in like the, the training level in the second Hitman game, the tranquilizer gun. Man, second to last level, we finally get it. Uh, just an interesting, different looking. Low accuracy, fast fire rate. Okay, no, that's not good. <laughs> Don't want that. Necessary evil. Oh, here it comes. This is where we get stabbed in the back. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. Mm, yeah. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. 
It was the only way. To get this class. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Your dad. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, interesting to see where uh, it goes from here, the last mission. Seems like we're kind of dead, it seems like, or in the verge of death. Man, okay. I, I, I did say I did say she was going to stab us in the back, but... Man. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, have a like and a comment. If you had it really want, slap the subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.